Hello everyone and welcome back to Style Scientist. I am Kiva Brent. You may be wondering how I got the label Style Scientist. Well, while I was finishing my natural sciences degree, I started decorating my home as a creative outlet. I soon fell in love with interior styling and traded pipettes and microscopes for tape measures and paint swatches. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to style a bed so well that it's going to look and feel like a bed in a five-star hotel. Before we get into today's episode though, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can check out other fantastic series here on HGTV Handmade and you can catch all of the other episodes of Style Scientist. Now let's get into today's video. The first step in achieving the hotel style bed is having a thick mattress. I want you to be able to achieve this look if you are fresh out of college or you're still in college and you cannot buy a brand new mattress. So you either want to have a thick mattress or you want to have a mattress with a thick mattress pad on it. Because when you have a thick mattress pad, you get the exact same look and feel as a thicker mattress. If you look at this bedroom, you can see that the thickness of this mattress is almost the same amount of thickness as the thickness of the bed and this is what we want. The next step in achieving the hotel bedding look is to iron your sheets. Whenever you go to a hotel, you probably notice that those sheets are ironed so well that they look almost crispy. You can iron your sheets, you can also steam your sheets, use some spray starch on it to make sure that you're able to get all of those wrinkles out and that they stay gone. What a lot of people do is they'll iron their sheets right out of the laundry and then to maintain the really nice crispy look of those sheets over time is to actually use a steamer and steam the sheets right on the bed. The next step in creating a hotel style bed is to use a duvet cover instead of a comforter. So what's the difference between a duvet and a duvet cover and a comforter? A comforter is a quilted blanket, it can have feathers, it can have some sort of down alternative, but it does not require a cover. Whereas a duvet is used with a duvet cover and it is a blanket that goes inside of the cover. The reason why we want to use duvets and duvet covers as opposed to a comforter is one, the comforter has the quilted look which does not look quite as sophisticated and you cannot change the cover on that comforter. Whereas if you're using a duvet, you can change the cover regularly, which not only makes it easier to clean because you only have to clean the duvet they cover regularly as opposed to having to clean the entire comforter and it allows for more versatility in terms of style because it's easy to just take that cover off and put on whatever color you want to use. Whereas with the comforter, the style of that cover is the style that you get and there's nothing that you can do about it. To take it to the next level when it comes to your hotel bedding setup, you want to make your duvet look extra fluffy. Option one is to double stuff your duvet cover. This means you're going to put two duvets in the duvet cover. You wanna make sure that your duvets do have loops and your cover does have ties so that your duvets are not shifting around in this cover. But this can be something that leads to overheating and I don't want you to have an impractical bed set up. Option two is to layer two duvets on top of one another in different covers. You can either use identical covers or you can use covers that are varied in terms of texture so that there's more visual interest on the bed. You only have to sleep with one and you can fold the other one down when you don't need it, but you can pull it up and use it if it is a particularly cold night. Option three, when it comes to making your duvet look fluffy, just has to do with folding the duvet down the bed. You only need one and you can tri-fold it or bi-fold it so that it looks nice and fluffy at the base of your bed. So when it comes to selecting duvets, we wanna look for duvet covers that actually have a hotel border on them. It is a type of stitching that they put on duvet covers that is very, very common in the hotel space. They all use them and you will actually see that same embroidery on the duvet cover as you will see on the sham so that the entire unit matches to the T. And for those of you who are tired of the all white, we're doing that hotel style border, right? But you can do it in green, red, blue, gray, black, whatever color you want so that it adds a little bit of color to the bed and it doesn't feel quite as dull. But don't worry, I'll tell you a little bit later how we can infuse more color in this bedding arrangement. When it comes to achieving the hotel bedding look, tucking your sheets and tucking your duvet appropriately is very, very important. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna put the sheet on the bed, then you want to pull out the sheet, smooth out the inside, and keep your hand down and fold the sheet over so that you get a nice crisp hotel corner. They make it look a lot more complicated than it is, but once you do it once, you'll know how to do it forever and ever and ever. When it comes to the duvet, of course, you can use hospital corners on your duvet, 
What you can actually do is tuck in on the base of the bed, but leave it untucked on the sides and leave the corners untucked as well. You can see that happening on this canopy bed here. It allows you to see the entire frame of the bed, right, so that we can really appreciate the bed that we have selected, but we still get somewhat of a luxury look with a little bit of tucking. So when it comes to pillows, I actually want you to stack your bed pillows. Stacking your pillows not only helps to support your accent pillows really, really well, but it also mitigates your need for tons and tons of pillows on the bed because they are really, truly front and center. You are going to be sufficient with so many fewer pillows thanks to the stacking pillow arrangement. Look at this glorious bed. They have stacked the pillows so that the throw pillows are in the front and they are the stars of the show. This headboard is so grand that any bed pillow would look small and frumpy in comparison, so stacking your pillows is just the safe way out. Let's talk about how many accent pillows you should have on your bed when it comes to this hotel style arrangement. You'd probably notice that hotels really don't have that many accent pillows on the bed, and that isn't just because they're being cheap and they don't want to give it to you. You really don't need too many accent pillows on your bed. I want you to cap the number of Euro pillows you have on your bed at three, no matter what size your bed is, and you can also put a lumbar, oversized lumbar, or even a bolster pillow in front of those. But you are still capping the number of Euros at three, and honestly, we're capping the total number of pillows used at four. Other colors that you have already appearing in your room via decor or artwork or even your headboard itself, we can incorporate those colors in our pillows. The pillows are the opportunity to have fun. I hate that I have to say this, and I know that a lot of people are gonna be upset, but when it comes to the hotel bedding setup, we can't use any pillows that have any writing on them. We just want it to be really nice and sleek and minimal. Now with all these pillows at the top of the bed, at the base of your bed, you either wanna add a quilt or a throw. This is a must so that the design style goes all the way down the bed. You just want to put something at the base of the bed so the base of the bed doesn't feel empty and it doesn't feel like an abyss of bed. This also helps if you are not great at ironing and you don't want to iron all the time. This covers up a lot of those wrinkles. Again, you want to look at colors that are already appearing in the space. You may want to actually stick with white and actually just use white and a different fiber. Another great way that I see people accessorize the base of the bed is they actually play with faux fur or real fur. That is a great way to really draw your eyes downward on the bed. Now you have all of the tools you need to achieve the luxury hotel bedding look at home. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe to HGTV Handmade so that you can catch additional episodes of Style Scientist and you can enjoy all of their other fantastic series. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.